understand that spirituality is one of the dimensions that makes us the people we are. But in addition to the spiritual dimension, there are other dimensions that enable us to be the people we have come to be. Of course, there's the physical dimension, our bodies. There's also the, our psychological makeup and our emotions, our mental capacities, our brains. Our families and our culture have really contributed significantly to make us the people we are, just as our communities and environment have played a major role in our being the people we are today. All of these dimensions come together and interact with each other and influence each other. We often think that spiritual practice is only about the spiritual dimension of our life, but there's one practice in particular that we know, based on extensive scientific research, that is interrelated with every other dimension of our life, and that practice is meditation. Yes, there may be other spiritual practices that are equally integrated, but what we know most about is the impact of meditation. It's the practice that's been studied most extensively. We commonly think of meditation as being a form of relaxation, but it's so much more than that. When we practice meditation, in that time of meditation, all the stress is released from our body. And when that stress is released, our blood pressure lowers and our cardiovascular system functions in a healthier way. As that stress is released from our body, people who have concerns about anxiety and fear, that anxiety and fear begins to diminish. People with PTSD experience both that diminishment of anxiety as well as have an added benefit in terms of their brain. The neurons that are not working properly because of PTSD, well, new neural pathways begin to grow, and that helps resolve the PTSD over time. In addition, people living with chronic pain will find that their pain diminishes when practicing meditation. Depression is also impacted by meditation. Depression is related to the levels of neurochemicals in our brain. The process of meditation helps to regulate those neurochemicals so that the symptoms of depression can be somewhat abated. I want to be very clear that meditation is not a, a replacement for actual treatment for any of these issues. Instead, it's important to work with therapists and with doctors but meditation can be a help, a support, and it can help maintain your well-being throughout treatment. In addition to these things, meditation helps us focus more clearly so that we're able to learn new things more easily. Meditation has been shown to diminish the onset of memory loss that happens with age. And I almost demonstrated that memory loss in saying it. But meditation helps to, to release, to diminish that memory loss, as well as correlated with the decrease in the onset of Alzheimer's and other dementias. Many of your friends and family members and loved ones will appreciate that you practice meditation. And that's because meditation makes us kinder and more compassionate individuals. It helps us to be able to go with the flow of life and to not respond negatively when things aren't going the way we expected. It helps us to be more patient. There are many things that are helped through the process of meditation. And I have just gone over highlights of the extensive research on meditation. Meditation does come easier for some people than for others. If it's something that is difficult for you, I want to encourage you to try anyway because of all of these benefits that I'm presenting. Remember that you don't have to become the mystic on the mountain to benefit from meditation. 
simply engaging in a regular practice of 10 to 15 minutes three times a week will enable you to experience some of these benefits of meditation. It's a simple practice. There's a lot to be learned about meditation, but meditation will help your health and well-being in ways far greater than you would probably imagine. Thanks for your time today. I appreciate your listening. Please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, and ring that bell on YouTube so that you're notified by other videos as they're posted. Thank you.